Take eight. <laughs> Hi, I'm Heather. I'm a principal scientist at Clorox. Mold and mildew are actually two distinctly different organisms. They're both fungus and they're both very gross, but mold is more like the mold that grows on your bread or athlete's foot fungus, gross. And mildew is the black stuff that you tend to see in your shower and in your toilet. Mold and mildew is most often found in moist areas of the home. So bathrooms, especially if they don't have a window or don't have good ventilation, showers, tubs, sinks, toilets, but also in windowsills if there's been condensation and inside a washing machine. Mildew has that characteristic damp, musty smell because it's alive and it is producing compounds that smell just like animals do. Yes, bleach does kill mold. Bleach also kills mildew. They are tough organisms. It also bleaches the stains they leave behind away, so it gives you that really satisfying clean, knowing that the product has done its job. Vinegar is a moderately strong acid, and it can kill some fungal species, but it takes a lot longer than bleach does. The best way to tackle mold and mildew in the bathroom is to use Clorox disinfecting bleach. Dilute one third cup of Clorox bleach into a gallon of water. This can be used on painted surfaces, on your walls. This can also be used on tiles, grout, your bathtub, your sink, your toilet. Fun fact, the pink film that you see in the toilet and in the grout lines of the shower is not a mold or mildew fungus. It's a bacteria called serratia, and it can be pink, it can be orange or more yellow. So Clorox disinfecting bleach, Clorox cleanup cleaner plus bleach, and Clorox toilet bowl cleaner with bleach are all products that work very well at removing that pink stain. It's easier to help prevent mold and mildew in your home if you clean on a more regular basis. I know that I work for a cleaning company, but I promise you, if you clean on a more regular basis, those cleaning events will be much easier than if you have to do a major deep clean.